Zinnias are one of my favorite summer flowers. They're easy to grow. Um, and I find them really cheerful. Now these zinnias that have come up um, that I planted near the mailbox actually a few years ago keep reseeding themselves. And I always find that to be a real treat. Um, an extra bonus. So they've planted themselves. Um, actually the past um, probably two years they've planted themselves. Which I really appreciate. And I appreciate the resiliency, um, the survival, you know, how they're continuing their life year after year. But what really got my attention recently, and as you can see, I probably need to do a little uh, work on my curb, but of all things, this is the first time I've noticed the zinnia popping up. here near the curb between the macadam it like squeezed itself and it reminds me of survival resiliency again um, it's a message that's coming up for me that sometimes we don't feel like we have a whole lot supporting us but we've been provided for you know, we don't always need a whole lot to survive, to keep going. Because we have those times in our life when things are a little lean, a little challenging, and yet we can survive. And we're going to keep on surviving. Uh, the odds are actually in our favor that life is persistent. So that's one, and then down further, probably about 20 feet, oh, at least 20, maybe 30 feet away from that mailbox. Yeah, I do need to do some weeding along the curb. But I thought what was more important was, yeah, here's, here's my zinnia in bloom again. And they had um, recently put new macadam down. So those seeds from last year were that persistent, were that hardy, and so are we. We are that resilient, and, and that's, that's what was striking me, is that if these flowers can survive and send out their seeds, you know, so can we. Sometimes we have to dig a little deeper, maybe live a little leaner, but there's enough. There's always enough for us to keep popping up, to keep blooming, and we're going to send our seeds out. We're going to send our seeds out year after year, and there will be fertile, abundant soil again. And it's here. It's all around us. So nature, I think, was just getting my attention and reminding me. And I wanted to share that with you. Remember, you have enough.